You guys are concerned at all about the changes or? Um, I am because I now have to get up earlier and it's cold obviously as you can see and we're living on Brazy Point and I also have a very large backpack that I have to carry in. And your back? And your back. So I just have a lot of stuff to carry in. Because I'm in the end. And I have my instrument. All my gym stuff. And my book bag. When were you guys first informed that, that they were making the changes? Um, I don't remember when. They heard rumor of it through from the you. From, from the you. bus driver. Right. No, oh no, Cheryl told me Cheryl that told at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. And then um, I went to the school committee. That's when I went to see, mm -hmm. is it back true, on the 9th. And you were at that meeting. Yeah. Where they said yes it was. But we were formally known at the beginning of school. Yeah, it starts Monday. This Monday. How much you, uh, earlier are you guys planning to give yourself time to walk up there? Well, they're saying the bus is coming there at 7.12. 7.12. So, so 15 minutes. Probably 20 for me. <laughs> and uh, what's, um, what's your biggest concern with all of them? It, it's, I, again, it needs to be fear, and all students need to be treated the same. And I think they looked at roads, they don't want to go down and, and discontinued service on that road. Mm -hmm. And I know that the school committee, as they said, the meeting has the right to charge for buses to to do all that with the buses, but let's do it equitably. Let's yep. do it fairly for all students because we all pay the same amount of tax dollar. And and everybody else is getting picked up at their or at their original bus stop. And like you mentioned before, uh, there's not really an area for them to stand, to stand at the end at, of the road. No. There is not. There's no area. There's and the the only land is snowbanks. They put all the snow there. So it's also a safety concern for you. Yes. yes. With with traffic at dark, they're going to be walking the street with no street lights at quarter seven when it's still pitch dark. That's when I figured they'll have to leave about quarter seven. And I sit here every morning drinking my coffee. And it's still pitch dark out. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be standing here in the dark. Have you thought about? Do you think you you might drive them a couple I'm times? I'm going to have or? to. I'm going to have to, but where I um, work in fundraising with the schools, mm -hmm. so a lot of my schools, I have to be there at 7 a.m., so I'm leaving at 6.30, so that is going to be tight for me on days. Yep. You know, that that's the tough part is, is that we didn't plan for this. You start September knowing what your school, what your schedule, what your daycare needs are, and then you have a week to 